summer is upon us. This afternoon, tis the season for weddings. And should you go off the registry? Can you give cash? Is that acceptable? Modern wedding gift giving can be tricky to navigate. So we've invited Lynn Fletcher, who's the president of Lynn Fletcher Weddings, here with the do's and don'ts. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. I know this is the time where things really ramp up, don't they? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're on the onset. Okay, so <laughs> let's plow through um, the questions when it comes to gift giving. And the number one point you said is the most important, and that is do give a gift, period. Yes, do do that. Uh, it, it's really stressful on a bride and groom when they're doing the checklist at the end and wanting to do their thank you cards, and there's a few missing pieces. There's a few people that have either forgotten a gift or <clears throat> not given one. Right. So it's really tough if you are buying them something that's coming in the mail or if it's coming later, just give a gift and give that indication that you've actually given them something. Then they don't think their gift has been stolen. Okay, and how do you assign value to that gift? Usually the rule is per plate, what, what your dinner and your evening at the wedding has cost. Right. But you never really know how much they've spent on you. You know, it could be a lavish wedding in the mountains or it could be a backyard barbecue. Right. Um, so the general rule is about $50 as your minimum and then go up from there based on your relationship with the, the couple. Okay, now let's talk about registry. This is still something, it's kind of a traditional thing to do, but sure. if people have a registry, should they go off the registry? Absolutely. They've picked, that couple has picked things that they absolutely love, that they're wishing to receive. Um, they've sort of set up their house based on the dishes and the flatware and all of that. It, it kind of is a downer when you only get two place settings. <laughs> right. So if you go off the registry, you're assured that that gift will be very happily received and they'll be excited to open it. Okay, I like that. And what about monetary gifts? How do you, how does a, par a party ask for this and what should you give and how do you go about it? It could be awkward. Yeah, it is awkward. It's awkward to put it in the invitation, too. So usually that ask is done with the friends and family in the bridal party, the parents. So do ask around. If you don't know what to give them, just ask somebody that's close to them, and they'll say, well, they really would like to pay for their honeymoon. And right, right, right. Then you can give cash based on that. Okay, that's what bridal parties are for. That's right. <laughs> spread, spread the word. Spread the word. Okay, what about group gifts? Um, is this something that's gaining popularity? In bridal parties, mm -hmm. for sure. You spend a lot being a bridesmaid or a groomsman, so oftentimes the bridal party will get together and buy a big luxury item that's on their registry that they might not receive from one particular couple. So a barbecue, furniture, a piece of art, um, that's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's nice to be able to pool your money, pool your resources, and then you yeah. can really, instead of getting that two-place setting, you can maybe get the whole thing. Okay, I had a question for you. Um, when it comes to destination weddings, you may not want to pack a gift. Um, how do you go about going, what are the rules for gift giving in a destination wedding where you're already spending to be there? For sure. And we experience that all the time in the mountains. We do a lot of destination weddings where people come here to have their weddings. So we see that a lot. Either cash in a card, which is easy to pack, mm -hmm. or if they're on the registry, oftentimes that gift can be delivered right to the couple's home before or after the wedding. Mm -hmm. You just get a little card saying what you got them, and that goes in their card. Okay. Easy. Great. Yeah. Now, what about if I've been invited to the wedding, I can't make the wedding, do I still give a gift? It's totally up to you. There's no rule around that. Okay. Um, you should give a well wish at the very least, a little note in the RSVP card, um, but there's no real hard and fast rule for giving gifts if you're not able to come. It's a nice gesture. It is. Okay. Yeah. Are you seeing particular trends when it comes to gifts these days? What do you see? Money. Yeah. Money People all about money. People are waiting longer to get married now. Older couples that are a little bit more established. So money is really great because then they can spend it on whatever they like. Honeymoon registries are becoming really popular too. Mm -hmm. um, the, and very, very easy to do. It's just all online. Okay. Excellent. Where can people find you if they have more questions about weddings? www.lynnfletcherweddings.com. Excellent. Always great to see you. you Happy too. wedding season. And that brings us to 847. It is also the summer season. Andrew Schultz.